Welcome to Bluegrass Home and Garden TV. Bluegrass Home and Garden TV is brought to you by Jimmy Nash Homes, Comfort Heating and Air, Springhouse Gardens, Back Construction, Ginger's Hearth Patio and Grill, Buyer's Paradise Furniture, and by the studio. Join us now for Bluegrass Home and Garden TV with Amber Canoy. Hey, we're over next to Ginger's Hearth and Home at the Outdoor Living by Design Center with Rachel Duggins of H2O Designs. And we've talked a little bit about water quality with plants earlier in the spring. People want to know how to make sure that, you know, they have their water good for the, the animals and everything. But now people are questioning in the dead heat of the summer, so when we're all just miserable outside, what do we need to think about for our ponds? Right, you still want to keep your plant, you want your plantings, you want to make sure your plantings, they help control string algae uh, that builds up on the waterfall in the stream. The number one key thing people want to think about though is aeration. Are you moving enough water? Are your fish getting enough oxygen? You know, are the plants doing what they're supposed to? Right. Um, if you're, you should turn your water over once an hour. Uh, if you're not doing that, um, if you're not at least doing that, I would consider adding an aerator to the okay. pond for extra aeration. And you have an example right here. Yes, this is a four stone aerator. Okay. Um, it's one of the big, they come bigger. You can get as big as you need depending on your pond size. Um, we have a two stone, four stone, and then there's some that are made for larger applications that actually have plates that um, go to the bottom and bubble up to produce aeration. Now in an application like this where we have a waterfall here, we have another waterfall here, we also have some other features that are bringing up an area to the water as well. Do we need something like that or this should pretty much be taken care of this, this one, should right? Be, yes. You're, this is probably turning over two and a half to three times an hour. Okay. So that's plenty of aeration. So right. there's no need to add anything in this application, particular application. All right, let's go back to the plants because you mentioned that, and I know we just touched on it in the spring. You've got a lot of different types of plants here, different heights. Do we? How, how do we actually put these into the, you know the water? We actually recommend that you, um, if you have rock in your pond, that you actually move rock out of the way and bare root plant them, wash the dirt off, and actually plant them into the rocks. Um, that way they're getting pulling nutrients from the water instead okay. of the dirt or fertilizer the you know okay. the fertilizer that may be in the dirt they're actually pulling the water out of nutrients from the water and that takes it away from what you would produce string algae and that type of thing okay now most of these how deep can they go in the water most of these uh, uh, that you see up here only want to go about six inches okay. some can go up to 12 inches deep but most of them want to be in shallow water so uh, applications like this would be perfect now when we right. get a little bit deeper we should go with more of like a lilies? Yes, you're going to want to go with a lily or a lotus or that type of a plant because those can go to the bottom. They can go 24 inches deep and then they'll, the leaves on them will reach for the sun so they'll come up and they'll float on top of the water, provide coverage for the fish, uh, shade. Uh, actually, that'll help lower your water temperature in the, in the summer months. Absolutely. All right. Well, if people have questions for you in the meantime, I know we're going to do, uh, you know, get into some more topics here in a little while. But if people have questions for you, Rachel, how can they get a hold of you all? Uh, they can call us at 888-297-6637, or we, they can also search us on the internet uh, at h2odesignsinc.com. All right.